In this video, I'm gonna build a scenario that automatically uploads to TikTok short video content. I recommend watching this video from the beginning till the end because here in between are some important settings that you don't wanna miss out. Although here in Make, there is no option to upload straight away to TikTok, I'm gonna go around it and show how to still upload with using some other programs like Zapier and Buffer. It is actually quite simple if you follow all the steps that I do here in video. So first things first, you're gonna need your drive or place where your content is. In my last video, I used Microsoft Drive. So in this video, I'm gonna use Google Drive. Connecting Microsoft Drive is very easy, but Google is more complicated. I'm gonna need watch files and folders module. And here I'm gonna need a connection. Connecting Google is more complicated because you're gonna need special connection first in Google Cloud, in Google Console. I have done a previously a video about it where I especially show how to do everything. But one important thing what you have to do for your scenario to work, you have to go to Google Drive where your content is located and here you have to make it public, shareable with the link. So here I'm gonna click on my drive name and here I have to click share. And here I have to take open access. And as I want to make to do stuff with it, then I have to give right to read and to do changes and then click save. This is important step. Otherwise it's not gonna work in make. I'm gonna now map out where are my files. So for method, I'm gonna keep select from the list and now I'm gonna choose a folder. Here I have folder and I'm gonna choose my folder. What I'm gonna need is files as I'm only using videos. Search is gonna be empty and for limit, I'm gonna keep it one because per one run, I want to have one video to upload. Click save. Next thing that you need is add a new module, which is gonna be also Google Drive, but this time download a file. In my previous videos, I showed how to download any media that I explained it more. Make sure you have same connection that you have in your previous module and what you're gonna need is file ID. This file ID you can take from your previous module. If you write here file ID, then you're gonna find it is right here. Click on it and click save. Just in case I'm gonna save scenario. So now we have a file and its location, but what we don't have is a caption, title and stuff like this. So for this, I'm gonna add AI. I'm using XAI because it's quite cheap and performs very well. I'm gonna use Grok 3 Mini, it is very cheap. And now I'm gonna add message. My first message is gonna be system. And here I'm gonna give a prompt for AI. It is gonna be very easy prompt, create a video title from file name and add emojis if needed. Also remove from the title unnecessary stuff. As I'm gonna upload also to YouTube, then title must stay under 90 characters. I think YouTube allows only like 100, just in case I put 90 over here, and output only video title. Of course, I can't forget to add a video name. This is gonna be assistant, and if I search for name, then you can see the name is gonna be over here. I'm gonna click on it and click save. This works only if you have a video that is renamed properly. For example, like my videos over here, you can see that first thing over here is unnecessary stuff. AI is gonna remove it, but later it is, for example, like here, lost cities that will blow your mind. And AI is gonna take this video title from this video name, create a caption from it and video title for YouTube, TikTok, and so on. So my videos are renamed properly. But what happens if your videos are not? In that case, you can add more AI in between. Of course, it is not the most cheapest way, but it is possible. So I'm gonna show you how it can be done. So for that, I'm gonna transcript the audio from the video itself. And for that, I'm gonna use ChatGPT. Create a transcript. Here you can see it already mapped out Google Drive, download a file. It is using name and data from the file. I'm gonna use this mini transcript system and click save. So let me run it once and let's see what it's gonna do. So as you can see, it is giving me a video 
video name is you won't believe these wedding rituals it is taking more time of course to proceed but here let's see output text is text from the video of course if you are having long videos then it's gonna consume a lot of credits and it's gonna cost you a lot but as i'm doing shorts in here then it is a possible way to do it so later you can add the same ai that i have to create a title and description from the text that is inputted so here in this case in text content i will have a text from ChatGPT. but as my videos are named properly i don't need this step in between here i can add ais because this first ai is video title and the second ai for example can be a tags for youtube or video description but i'm not gonna add it right now because let's keep this video simple so the next thing that you're gonna need is google sheets and it is because here in make.com you can't upload straight to tiktok so what we're gonna do is use buffer instead buffer is a program that allows to upload to tiktok and some other medias like i have showed in my previous videos but as you can see you can't upload straight to buffer from make.com so we have to go around it and we're gonna use zapier instead zapier is basically similar to make but it allows uploading to buffer and to know what to upload from zapier we're gonna take this url that we have here in google drive and we're gonna paste it in google sheets so i'm gonna create a completely new google sheet and here add some captions first thing that i'm gonna need is video title and second thing that i need is video url and here you can also add video tags or video description but i don't have those things so i'm not gonna add those so now i have to go back and make and here in make add a module and it's gonna be google sheets and add a row or update a row module i'm gonna use update the row this time here i make sure that i have right connection and now what i have to choose is spreadsheet id from my drive and after that right sheet name that i had or if you don't have any then it's gonna be just blank or sheet one and now what i need is row number and it's gonna be two because i have headers and here what i need to do is put here video title for that i'm gonna use results from ai and for video url i'm gonna type url right now it's not showing me anything so i'm gonna actually run it once so now if i click on results then you're gonna see that it has this url link so now i have run it once and when i type here download then you can see it has here web content link i'm gonna press on it and now it's gonna paste this url here in the google sheets i'm gonna click save and run this scenario once and now after i finish running then i can go back here to google sheets and here i have video title and video url so next thing that i'm gonna need now is go to buffer and here on the left side you have all the channels that you can connect in my previous videos i have showed many of those but this time i'm gonna go with tiktok so to connect tiktok you have to be logged in in your tiktok in the browser like i have here over here and then you can finish connection and it's gonna do it automatically so now it is connected and i don't have to do anything else so now i need to connect this buffer to zapier so go to zapier.com and here click create and zaps in zapier you can create two-step automations and this is exactly what we need so for trigger i'm gonna use google sheets as i'm posting my url to google sheets from make here trigger event has to be new or update spreadsheet row and here i have to connect my google sheet account just click on write gmail that you have click continue and now you're connected to your google click continue and here choose spreadsheet that you have and the worksheet that we have and now you have to choose a trigger column it doesn't matter what it is because we are updating everything at once but as url is definitely required then i'm gonna click on url and click continue now it's gonna do test trigger and now after testing you can see it pulled spreadsheet row a if i click on it then i can see the same url and same video title i'm gonna click continue with the selected records and now next module that i'm gonna need is buffer so i'm gonna type here buffer click on it 
And here I have to choose event, which is gonna be add to queue. And now I need an account. I'm gonna click on it. It's gonna lead me back to buffer. I'm just gonna allow it. And that's it, it connected to buffer. You just have to make sure that you are in the same browser and you have logged in in all of your accounts, then it's gonna be super easy. Continue. Organization by default is my organization. Tags, I don't have. Channel. Now I have to choose TikTok channel that I just connected with Buffer. And for text, what I'm gonna add is this video title. And for media, I'm gonna choose video. And here I have to choose a video URL. And now what I'm gonna change is method. Instead of add to queue, I'm gonna choose share now. And now continue. And now when I click test step, it's gonna upload this actual video to TikTok. So as you can see, uh, update was sent to buffer about zero seconds ago. So now if I go to buffer, if I refresh it and here click on send, then you can see this video is still sending. And this is important thing to remember that everything takes time because it is moving from make to Zapier to buffer to TikTok. So you're gonna remember that it needs some time and we are gonna add this time in make.com also, but that's gonna be a bit later. So now update was created and now I can go to TikTok and refresh it. Then you can see the same video that was sent from buffer one minute ago was uploaded to TikTok. So this is how you connect your TikTok. Now let's do some settings that are important to run everything smoothly. So first in Zapier, I'm gonna rename it and then click publish. So now the Zapier was published and it's gonna look for updates that are here in Google Sheet. And if there is an update, it's gonna upload to Buffer. I can close that. And here back in Make, I'm gonna add some other modules as well. What I want to do is delete this video that was already posted to TikTok because I don't need it on my folder and I want to keep my folders clean. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add Google Drive delete a module, but before that, I'm gonna add one another module. That is quite important. And it is sleep module. It is important because you are running between multiple programs from Google Drive to make.com, from make to Google Sheets, from Google Sheets to Zapier, from Zapier to Buffer, and from Buffer to TikTok. It all takes time to proceed. So making sure that this video is actually uploaded to TikTok before it gets deleted, then I will add some sleep module. Usually around two, three minutes is okay. So just in case I'm gonna add three minutes delay and click save. So now every time before deleting a video, this scenario is gonna be paused and making sure that everything is uploaded correctly to TikTok. And now last module that I'm gonna use is delete a file folder. And here what you need is file ID. If you type here file ID, then you can see this ID from one of those modules and click on it and then click save. And next thing I'm gonna do is make the scheduling. I want it to run once a day, so it's gonna be 1440 minutes. So I'm gonna click save and now activate scenario. So now this scenario is gonna upload one TikTok per day. And it is also gonna be good with our Zapier that can take 100 tasks for free plan per month. If you have any questions, then write a comment down below or write me an email if you need my service. In my other videos, I have shown multiple other social medias and many useful scenarios that you can learn. So stay tuned for another video. And for now, have a beautiful day.